Hello and welcome to Healthy Tales with Sahiba, a first of its kind TV talk show featuring leaders from the health, nutrition and fitness industry. Joining us today are two exceptional uh, female entrepreneurs. They are fitness enthusiasts, passionate and ambitious women. Please welcome Swati Churasia and Harshika Patel from the Pilates studio by Namrita Purohit. Thank you ladies for coming today on Healthy Tales with Sahiba. I'm absolutely thrilled to have you and excited to hear your story. So Swati, um, you are the master franchise owner of uh, Pilates studio in Delhi. You have uh, four studios in Delhi NCR. How did you get into Pilates and why did you choose this brand to be associated with this brand? So basically, uh, I myself was looking for a, to work out uh, for Pilates in Delhi, but I did not come across any throughout Delhi NCR. So this idea came across, so why should not we open a good quality professional studio in Delhi? Right. So we approached Mr. Samir and then, you know, the meeting happened and so on. Pilates here and now we have already four studios. And which was your first studio? So Defense Colony is my first studio. Okay, great. Yeah. And then gradually the love we got from the uh, clients, uh, the feedback we got that, uh, you know, pushed us to, you know, open more in every, all across Delhi and Chai. Since uh, kilometer wise also, it's a huge area where, you know, everywhere the studios can be catered to all the clients. Yeah. Okay. So Harshika, you also have uh, three studios in Ahmedabad. Yes. Uh, what is your journey? How did you start with Pilates? So, uh, actually my educational background is completely different. I am a civil engineer and a planner by education. Wow. And I got, got married into a family, uh, family which has real estate as the uh, family background. So what happened is I saw my husband growing uh, and building buildings in the city. So I said that, no, you know, I am also passionate about fitness. So I want to give the best out of fitness in Ahmedabad. So that's how Pilates clicked. And um, I did not want to go and open up any other gym or yoga studio or something. I wanted a specialized thing. And since my educational qualifications were completely different, that's how I got in touch with Mr. Samir and the entire idea about uh, the Pilates studio happened. So okay. Ahmedabad is the first franchise actually from Bombay. So, um, you know, coming to that, um, have you guys noticed any difference in the perception of Pilates uh, in Gujarat versus Delhi NCR? Uh, Harshika, yeah. what is the perception there? So when I got the Pilates studio in Ahmedabad, it was one of the first Pilates studio to be in the city. And that is why it was very well appreciated. Uh, within the same one year, we multiplied and we started another studio in another area. Okay. Because we saw that everybody all across Ahmedabad was traveling and coming to work out. And all our slots were running full. So the love was so much that, okay. you know, we had to grow. Great. But now when I look back and see the five year journey, it was just yesterday that I saw that one of the gym had actually got reformers. Oh, so you know, it is like so on everybody a is including. I remember going to a gym here uh, in Vasant Vihar in Delhi, and they also have a small uh, Pilates area with right. two reformer uh, machines. Right. Oh. Yeah. So, so yeah, so it's it, picking up in Delhi, right? Yes, so I think actually. Uh, so like ours was also the same uh, thing. Like we had uh, the very fully equipped Pilates studio. So after that, many came across, like many brands also opened up. But after opening the first, the love we received, as I told earlier also, the love we received, you know, it like it was tremendous. It was very nice, you know, the feedback and everything. And then obviously we needed to grow and we needed another city also. So we went to Gurgaon again, like Gurgaon was again very nice for us. So after that and so on, like people are adopting to Pilates, they're loving it actually. Can you... Uh Tell me what exactly is Pilates because many people I feel don't know and confuse it with yoga at times uh, or they don't know if you need to do floor exercises or there are machines involved. Um, so can you highlight certain things? Yeah, so Pilates is done both ways, basically mat also and uh, reformer wise also. But recently the reformer one is picking up more because obviously uh, any kind of, you know, uh, people, it's more of a rehabilitation also. Okay. And yoga is different. Yoga has another set of clients and the Absolutely. love for it is different. Yeah. Obviously the benefit it also has is uh, 
uh, numerous. But then uh, with Pilates, the reformer is excellent. Uh, uh, just one machine and so many workouts can be done. It gives numerous benefits. So even uh, it's more uh, well because uh, anybody with any kind of injury can also do. Okay. Suppose oh, like that's pre-natal, a good point. post-natal okay. and people with uh, coming from any medical conditions can do. It can be accommodated accordingly. Mm-hmm. So that's why. Okay. Yeah. And so you, you had, yeah, yeah. Reformer is one machine which is going to actually make you strong like a warrior. It's going to strengthen your muscles and it's going to make you flexible like a ballet dancer. Okay. So you're going to get best of both worlds when you're working out on a reformer. So it's it's like strength training combined with the flexibility of yoga, probably. I would it? not <laughs> say yoga because it is completely a different ball game when you go to do go to a yoga class mm-hmm. and when you go to a Pilates right, class. Right. Right. And uh, so the breathing techniques are different, um, the principles are different, so yeah. So can anybody as a beginner start with the reformer machine? Anybody. Any point of time, you can just start, yeah. Anybody can begin the fitness journey with a reformer. Okay. It is like, it's a misconception everybody has that, you know, I'm not fit to do Pilates. Like Pilates is going to make you fit. It's not that you have to be fit to do Pilates on a reformer. So, do you also engage in any other uh, exercise, form of exercise? Do you do weight training? Do you go to the gym or I is love it just all Pilates? kinds of exercise. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I also do my weight training. I also do my yoga. I've done my teacher's training in yoga 200 hours already. Oh, wow. So, so you're any, a complete fitness enthusiast. I, I am totally a fitness enthusiast, yes. Okay. And Swati, I know you're a new mom. Yeah. And uh, I know you've gotten back to working out and doing Pilates yeah. again. Um, so that has always been a concern with, uh, you know, uh, um, new moms and women who are pregnant um, that whether they should engage in certain forms of exercises or not. So is Pilates safe for, say, pregnant moms to uh, engage in? Uh, yes, of course. Since I'm the example of it, I've been doing throughout because I wanted to, you know, check it for myself. How safe is Pilates? Because we offer both pre and postnatal uh, workouts and throughout nine months, it's very, very, very effective because it also eases, you know, labor pain. Uh, it also, you know, uh, uh, motive, like obviously gives so much of strength throughout. You have so much of discomfort throughout pregnancy, right, the backache right. and, you know. But and exercise always helps. helps. Yeah. So any form of exercise is good, but with Pilates, the safety is so much that I chose Pilates and yoga. So combined okay. both. Okay. And I was doing right towards the end of my pregnancy. So that also, that is the result I gave, you know, a very good, uh, like, uh, uh, like my daughter is just eight months old and I gave a natural birth also. Oh, so this is how. Yeah. So that must have helped. Actually, so much. And uh, when did you get back to Pilates after delivery? So, as per my doctor's advice, I took at least 40 days break, you know, just to get my body, you know, just to take rest and be with my daughter. And then after two months time, I started my workouts. Okay. Yeah. So, all you pregnant moms, uh, please don't fear Pilates. Uh, You can comfortably engage in Pilates, but make sure you train under a good qualified trainer. And if you have a C-section delivery, please wait for uh, three months at least before you start working out. Uh, so, um, Harshika, did you have any problems? Did you face any problems in your entrepreneurial journey when you started this? How how did the family respond to it? So, I'll tell you a very funny uh, joke on this. As a kid, I was a lazy bum. Like, I, <laughs> I still love sleeping and I used to love sleeping. And my parents were always worried that, you know, once you get married, what are you going to de- do? Nobody's going to let you sleep so much. Right. And, uh, yeah, then tables turned around and I just got so physically active that now when they look at me and they're like all the time you're mentally engrossed you're physically engrossed and you know you just don't want to stop still so mm-hmm. even this trip to Delhi was like a morning evening and then my mom is calling me in the morning and you sure want to do it you know you'll get tired this and that but yeah I know that's very school. inspiring because I really can't do day trips if I have to travel I always do an overnight because it's too taxing for me so it's no, wonderful it's a, that you're it's doing It's the way this. around for me that, you know, I love to reach back home, sleep on my bed and I'm oh, like, sweet okay. Home. Yeah, yeah. But then when you did way. start or how did you, you know, break this news to your family or did your husband kind of uh, uh, so support I you did, throughout? Yeah, I did all my research and I prepared the entire plan and then I presented it to my husband first. Um, 
surprisingly he was super happy about it mm-hmm. i was like oh, are you sure you want to let me do it she, he's like yes of course just do it you know i am going to speak to mom dad but you're doing this so ever since then you know he's always been a major motivating factor behind my growth first studio second studio you know second studio took a pause and then i did not want to actually open a third studio but his force and his motivation that no you can do it and you know this is this will work very good and you're so good at it so you don't need to stop just keep growing so that's, that's how wonderful. you know the third studio just happened and uh, swati how do you balance work and now with a 8 month old baby how do you bring that balance work life balance uh, so yes it's quite challenging obviously given the newborn i have i want to spend quality time with her as well as be at the studio because that's my passion i'm very passionate about my studios and the workouts so but i have a family here my husband and my brother is equally managing uh, rajan is right. it rajan and he equally manages the studio okay so that's quite challenging at times you know when she is not well but again you have to also go to the studio so that's fine like we have a so everybody team. pitches in yeah 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 we have a good team and setup so and yeah so it's like that okay great and how early can uh, one enroll what is the right age can children or teenagers uh, start with pilates Oh, yes absolutely like uh, anywhere from like 7 years to 65 years if you're fit to go if you're mentally fit and if you want to do anybody can do it like pilates is such a, a workout which anybody can do at any point of time any age group so how has your brand encouraged fitness in india harshika i would say definitely because i started Uh, to branch out the first studio from mumbai you know then everybody in india started seeing that okay uh, after mumbai amdabad has uh, two pilates studios and then i think hyderabad happened mitali got in touch with them and uh, then delhi happened and then it for just followed on and now there are 14 studios like it has uh, pune chennai it is also kolkata there in kolkata raipur so bhubaneswar it is right. yeah it's there in areas like bhubaneswar and raipur yeah. also so our ideology as a team i would say along with the mr samir and namrata it is like we want to spread the magic of pilates all over india so so uh, yes. namrata purohit actually is the uh, first time that i actually got to know about pilates in india yeah. and she's popularized pilates yes. right um so have you how has been your interaction with uh, the owners so it's like a family bond that we share uh, so mrs samira namrata are the co-founders of pilates studio back in 2011 and so on so like every like everything like we just a call away and the support we get from them in terms of we just like we ha- are the master franchise and beat me harshika or anybody like from different cities but we all are connected as a family even in corona times Okay. It's quite tough and challenging, but the support we, as a family, we were all you know united together through WhatsApp groups and supporting each other. And Mr. Samir is like, oh my God, yeah, he is very much supportive throughout. He's like a father. He's like a father. Say, for yeah, any yeah, advice, we nice. run to him. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. for any advice. So it's interesting that you mentioned COVID. How was it during the pandemic? Your studios must have shut shop, right? At that time, were you encouraging people to uh, take online training? How was it? Uh, how did you strategize as entrepreneurs at that time? I would say it was tough uh, convincing people to do Pilates online. Trust me, it is very tough. Uh-huh. You cannot sit on the other side of the screen and just look guide and them. you know guide them and with the correct posture. so there was always that fear factor that you know how to make somebody do pilates online when we ensure that you are going to do it in a very safe environment at the studio uh, mm-hmm. on the reformer and we claim it to be injury free but yes we got through it and uh, there were different programs that we were running online uh, namrata was constantly taking online pilates classes anybody from all across india who wish to you know join her for a class she was doing that all the members all the members okay. yes even the non members it was open yes, to all yes non members okay. yeah it was open to all so what is the one unique thing that uh, pilates studio by namrata purohit has in delhi ncr which you have added on or your team has unique as in like what is the stand out here or are is are all studios the same or have you added something extra here 
No, it's almost the norms and the fundamentals. We try and stick to the fundamentals that the Pilates studio by Namrata the Purohit has. Mm-hmm. So we have to follow that. And yes, on a personal note, if something here and there is required, we obviously customize that as per the need of the particular city, you know, because Delhi is different, Ahmedabad is different, Mumbai right. is different. So we definitely are very much open. Harshika, anything different that you have done in Ahmedabad? So one USP, I think, I that's a secret. <laughs> Although I'll share it on your show. <laughs> no more a secret. <laughs> So, uh, I always stay in touch with each and every client that enrolls into each of my studios. Like I know what time slot, what day, Mm. what workout they are doing. Everything is under my supervision. Mm. So, if somebody is just giving me a random call and telling me, I already know that, okay, you are coming in this class and this trainer is training you. And clients feel privileged about that entire idea that, okay, you know, somebody... uh, sitting up there is still you know looking at uh, accessible and looking at root level uh, things that are happening at the studio so that attention to detail is specific to your students and always I'm approachable like I'm just a one call away for each and every client so a lot of fitness and pilates now it's time to have some fun we will have our guests spill some more secrets over some fun shots so ladies fun time uh, this is our segment called Sip Happens, where we have some healthy um, cold press juice shots sponsored by Ojo Lifestyle. There's an amla shot, there's beetroot and there is a pep up shot. Uh, so you're definitely leaving this set uh, glowing a little more. <laughs> <laughs> and there is a hamper to be won uh, sponsored by Kazi Living, which is a multi-brand outlet. I'm a very, very big customer of theirs. Um, so they've uh, sponsored the hamper. So this has to be won. So we, I'm going to ask you questions. We'll go one by one. Uh, and if you're guilty of doing that particular thing, then you have to take a shot, okay. right? And uh, who wants to start? Who wants to go first? Anybody. <laughs> you say. You say. <laughs> okay, we'll start with Harshika then. Yeah. <laughs> Good. You get that. All benefit. set? <laughs> yes. So questions are different for both. Okay. Okay, Harshika. Since I'm a nutritionist, this is going to be your first question. Have you ever tried any crash diet? (laughs) I think everybody has. Of course. While doing Pilates or any other exercise, have you ever cheated while counting your repetitions? Never. Never? Never. (laughs) Have you ever modified a particular exercise just to make it look fun and look good? Yes. (laughs) I would say the Instagram we held. Yeah, <laughs> for the gram. Okay, which Bollywood celebrity do you think is great at Pilates? I definitely look forward when Deepika Padukone is doing Pilates or uh, Sara Ali Khan is doing Pilates. Yeah. Okay. And next question. Have you made your husband try Pilates? I train him. <laughs> oh. I have a reformer at home. He okay. said I cannot take time to go to the studio and work out. So I bought a reformer specially for him. There are two days in the week that is decided and he has to give me those 40 minutes and I do train. So your answer is yes, so you need to take another (laughs) shot. The last one, have you ever secretly thought Pilates was better than all other forms of exercise? (laughs) Another shot then. Okay, you did great now. Over to you Swati, so you know how it goes. Yes. Okay, Swati, first question. Have you ever had a cheat meal when not in your schedule? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Take a shot. Next, have you ever used Pilates as an excuse to avoid some people? I have to go work out, I can't talk, I can't talk. Yes, many times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, have you ever lost track of time while working out? No. No? So you always time your workouts? Yes, I time my workouts. Yeah. Great. Which actor do you think needs to do Pilates? <laughs> That's quite a question. <laughs> I think everybody should do Pilates. Okay. Any particular uh, actor that if that person came to you, you would tell that person, okay, you know, you really need to try Pilates. I want to ask. Yeah, answer. Akshay Kumar. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Huh. Uh, I think he would yes. benefit. Okay, are you one of those people who work out on vacations too? No, no? I enjoy my vacations. 
Okay, this one is interesting. Has anyone ever mispronounced the word Pilates in front of you? Always. Yes. Tell us some fun ones. Always. Plates. All the time. It's plates, it's pilates. <laughs> so many variations to it. So uh, we always explain them. Yeah. Okay. Another shot. Yes. Okay, both of you did great. And it's up to me to decide who's going to win okay. this uh, round. And I think both of you did great, but... Um, she was more honest and she uh, took more swigs, so this hampers me to go to you. Oh, thank you so much. So thank you ladies for coming on Healthy Tales with Sahiba. It was really nice to know your journeys and thank you for enlightening us and the viewers on, uh, you know, your brand and Pilates in general. Uh, we have a special gift from Native Organica for both of you. So when you come on Healthy Tales with Sahiba, you're going to take back something healthy. Thank you so much. Thank you, Swati. Thank you, Harshika. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. That's all for today on Healthy Tales with Sahiba. Join us again next week, same time, same place, with different set of guests. Till then, stay healthy and fit. Okay, this one is interesting. Has anyone ever mispronounced the word Pilates in front of you? Always. Yes. Tell us some fun ones. All plates. All the time. It's plates, it's pilates, so many variations to it. So we always explain them.